The United States launched airstrikes in Syria on Thursday, targeting facilities near the Iraqi border used by Iranian-backed militia groups. The airstrikes were the first military action undertaken by the Biden administration, which in its first weeks has emphasized its intent to put more focus on the challenges posed by China even as Mideast threats persist. Biden's decision to attack in Syria did not appear to signal an intention to widen U.S. military involvement in the region but rather to demonstrate a will to defend U.S. troops in Iraq. I'm confident in the target that we went after, we know what we hit, Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin told reporters flying with him from California to Washington. Speaking shortly after the airstrikes, he added, we're confident that that target was being used by the same Shia militants that conducted the strikes, referring to a February 15 rocket attack in northern Iraq that killed one civilian contractor and wounded a U.S. service member and other coalition personnel. Austin said he recommended the action to Biden. We said a number of times that we will respond on our timeline, Austin said. We wanted to be sure of the connectivity and we wanted to be sure that we had the right targets. Earlier, Pentagon spokesman John Kirby said the U.S. action was a proportionate military response taken together with diplomatic measures, including consultation with coalition partners. The operation sends an unambiguous message, President Biden will act to protect American and coalition personnel, Kirby said. At the same time, we have acted in a deliberate manner that aims to de-escalate the overall situation in eastern Syria and Iraq. Kirby said the U.S. airstrikes destroyed multiple facilities at a border control point used by a number of Iranian-backed militant groups, including Kataib Hezbollah and Kataib Saeed al-Shuhada. The U.S. has blamed Kataib Hezbollah for numerous attacks targeting U.S. personnel and interests in Iraq in the past, further details were not immediately available. The Syrian Observatory for Human Rights said that 22 people were killed after the strike hit three trucks loaded with munitions coming from Iraq near the Syrian city of Bekamal. The British-based War Monitor of Uncertain Funding has regularly been accused by Syrian war analysts of inflating casualty numbers, as well as inventing them wholesale. The group said all the dead were from Iraq's state-sponsored Hasht al-Shabi force, the umbrella group over many small militias that have ties to Iran. Right now, we're not able to give you a certain attribution as to who was behind these attacks, what groups, and I'm not going to get into the tactical details of every bit of weaponry used here," Kirby said. A little-known Shiite militant group calling itself Suraya Alia al-Dam, Arabic for Guardians of Blood Brigade, claimed responsibility for the February 15 attack. A week later, a rocket attack in Baghdad's Green Zone appeared to target the U.S. Embassy compound, but no one was hurt. Iran this week said it has no links to the Guardians of Blood Brigade. U.S. forces have been significantly reduced in Iraq to 2,500 personnel and no longer partake in combat missions with Iraqi forces in ongoing operations against the Islamic State group.